when we look at the next point, number 11. So now we have the flash gas bypass valve line coming into it. We have the median temp suction line coming into uh, this line. And then we get the liquid uh, low temp discharge all coming back to these median temp compressors. So if something on one of those three starts to malfunction, say it's a case controller on a medium temp suction, if it's the discharge on the low temp compressors, if it's a flash gas bypass, it affects those high pressure uh, compressors or the transcritical compressors. And we need to understand and take our time to be trending graphs, looking at different things. This is what's making technicians amazing right now. I'm talking to some technicians that are blowing my mind. They're coming to the trainings. They're learning from me. They're going out, applying a bunch of the stuff that I'm teaching. And they're coming back and teaching me. They're like, I tried this. I tried this. And I've, I came up with this solution. And this is really what really happened. And really starting to think differently about refrigeration. And this is what I love about the CO2 trainings that I do is that technicians who are going and embracing it and taking the knowledge that I share with them, they're just thinking more outside the box now. And they're trying different things to effectively make that system work and function the best for their customer or their end user.